Hey, what's going on, guys? I hope everybody's doing well this beautiful Sunday morning. And Thanksgiving's coming up. So I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful Thanksgiving as well um, with your families and friends. I hope everything is blessed. So I just want to come in here and drop this um, quick little message for you. So, um, do not despise humble beginnings. So in Zechariah 4 and 10, um, we were reminded to not despise humble beginnings because God rejoices in, um, those beginnings. So we don't want to despise humble beginnings. You know, this message came to me, um, a few days ago because I was watching a movie and the main character, it was like, uh, it showed a flashback scene in the beginning and it showed the earlier stages of her life, which were unpleasant. And then it kind of flashed forward where she was winning and doing well and things like that. And it seemed like I took more um, pleasure, of course, in seeing her win and seeing the, la the latter stages. It's almost like I didn't want to see the flashback scene, even though, you know, it was necessary to, right? <laughs> and... The thought just came to me that I, you know, I took, I take more and just in general in life that I seem to take more pleasure in just the ending of something, you know, when just getting the results of something. And we have to focus on every piece and aspect, every part of our journeys. And we cannot discount the beginning of the journey because that is when the planning is going on. That's when the mapping out and that is when the birth has happened. Even the birth of us when we were first born was the onset of something great. So we have to think about it like that. You know, we cannot discount um, the beginning of something, even if the beginning is rocky and you know, kind of unpleasant and not so fun. Um, the beginning is very necessary. Um, and we can't be in a hurry to get to the middle or get to the ending and just, you know, be handed our trophies, you know, just so readily. You know, we have to see the blessing and what God is doing in the very uh, beginning of something. You know, we all have a vision for our lives and we all have dreams and sometimes we may get tired of waiting on those things and we may still be at the very beginning. A lot of us are and we're kind of wondering like, okay, so when is this going to shift? But I, I just come to tell you, um, um, though it may tarry, it is going to soon come. So please, please, please just... Um, don't despise those humble beginnings. Appreciate those humble beginnings because you're going to look back on that and that is going to be your testimony and it's going to uh, encourage and inspire uh, a whole generation of people. It's going to inspire the next person to get into their uh, beginnings um, and so that, so that they can get to where they're trying to go eventually. So, and also, you know, it's a testament um, to your faith as well. It grows your faith. It strengthens your faith. So I want you guys to, you know, definitely be strong, even through the struggle, and to just keep holding on to your strength. Um, and remember that God is always in the beginning, he has always been there in the beginning. He was in the beginning before we were. So, so he is there in your beginning. He is in your beginnings, standing there with you. So take his hand and walk the journey out with him. And you will surely get to where you are supposed to be. Okay? We gonna do this. Okay? Yeah, we got this, you know, <laughs> we know God's got it, but we, we got this cause we rocking with him. So we, we rocking with the almighty. We know that we don't, we don't need anything else cause we good to go. Okay. We're going to make this thing come to pass. I want you guys to have a beautiful and blessed Thanksgiving. And I hope to see you guys soon. You guys be blessed and you take care and have a blessed week as well. And definitely a blessed holiday. All right. I hope this message inspires you. Bye.